Well, good morning. Look at that sky. It's about 25 to 9 at the moment. I've been up since about quarter to 8. I had a really good night's sleep. And do you know what I attribute it to? I'm in a sleep mask on. And not necessarily the blackness, but the warmth. And I just don't want to take it off my head now because it's lovely and snuggly. I know sometimes I sleep in a hat when I'm really, really cold going to bed. And I sleep so much better with a hat on. Meanwhile, in the house, the early morning, well, it's not early morning, the morning coffee is on. Oh, I'll shut that door because it's a bit chilly out. It's just about done, actually. Let's get that open for the day. Oh, yeah, nice to look out and see that sky. The sun is very, very low on the horizon. You can't see its orb yet, but you can see the big glare coming up from where it's about to come up. Today, I'm very much hoping to go and book a holiday in the Algarve for a few months' time. We'll see. Now, we had a short list of three from the last time we went, and what happened was, I be ruled out the first one. I can't remember why. I think it might have had some iffy reviews or something like that. I'm not sure. But anyways, ruled out the first one. He chose the second one, and I chose the third one. And I've looked at the second one, and it's 40 minutes walk from the bus station, and it's 40 minutes walk to the main epicentre of where we want to be. And I think it's too far, because we plan to have quite a few day trips via buses from the bus station this time and we're gonna be tired by the time we get there so you know and if you've got a bag with you for the day as well and you've got to carry it I just think it's too much I think we need to scrap that one and start over I can't remember about the third one I liked it it was really good location so I'm trying to get hold of him but it's a little bit early I'm not sure if he's back at work yet if he's not back at work he might be still sleeping I'm not sure we got that in the Algarve IB is up he's texted me back i still got this thing on my head. I can't take it off, it's so cozy. He said, yes, he'd go for number two. Number three, he couldn't find any room details and online, and I couldn't really either. I think that's why I was hesitating over it. Um, but maybe the lady in the travel agent will be able to find that for us. Um, but he said, try and get some more, because we kind of rushed a bit on Saturday because there were a few families waiting to be seen, and we felt a bit bad taking out their time, and I knew I could come back first thing Monday morning, so that's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm just going to drink this lovely cup of coffee and just do the last couple of bits that I need to do to sort my vlog out for tonight, then I'll be ready to go out. It's about five past ten now, I'm all breakfasted, dressed, got me vlog up, got distracted chatting to some friends online. <laughs> And now, look, I wanted to show you what I did last night. Whoop, moved all Granny and Grandad's presents under the tree, ready for them to come for their second Christmas. And I'm feeling pretty proud of myself for doing this. In this box here, there's a load of stuff that I've boxed up for Music Magpie. I should get about 14 quid for that lot. It's old DVDs and books that we don't want anymore. It was in my understairs cupboard. I dragged it out the other day when I was looking for something. I'd forgotten all about it. Oh, by the way, this is the first time you've seen my fringe. I have not dyed my fringe, right? One of the things I was decluttering was a big bag that Isabel had got together for the charity shop and in it were quite a lot of hair mascaras that she'd been bought for a present and I was like I'm having them I love hair mascara so I was playing with that last night I didn't vlog yesterday it's Monday today it was Sunday yesterday and I didn't film anything yesterday anyway years ago I had boxed that up for Music Magpie and gone for the courier collection option but they just never turned up I made a video about it actually so I've reboxed it all I've scanned them all in again and just started afresh some of them they wouldn't accept anymore and I found some other things to put in so you know I was going to get rid of them anyway so I'm going to make a bit of money but what I need to do is take it down to the post office and this is free and I've got a barcode for them to scan and apparently they'll sort out the label and everything this is something that I need to put back in the post something that came for a past resident and it said to tick this box if they no longer live here and pop it back in the post box so that's what I'm going to do and this is for the charity shop so I'm going to take one of these down now because I'm going to pop down to town later as well uh, but I want to get to that travel agent first that's a priority it's 20 to 12 I've booked a we had whittled it down to one option and when she looked things had been snapped up since the last time we were in so we went for the one that is two kilometers away from the epicenter and the bus station and all that but the thing is Ibia did say well the money you save on the price of the accommodation you can spend on taxis or buses so that's what we've done the only nerve-wracking thing is the travel agent no longer do transfers as part of the deal so we've got the flights and we've got the accommodation but we don't have a transfer the flight going back is it's not that early as flights go but the fact that we've got to get there two hours before the flight and it's going to take two hours to get there by public transport makes it a little nerve-wracking and like we've tried to look at the public transport but because it's so many weeks well ages and ages and ages ahead it's saying nothing is found for this day but we know that stuff does run so a little bit nerve-wracking but i think there are private transfer companies as well so we can look into those so fingers crossed that's okay i took one of the charity bags down oh and i didn't take my camera out with me but i nipped into bnm and got Izzy some potato cakes because she loves them and she's staying at home all week. 
Right, so I'm going to quickly take that one bag down, come back, and then get the other stuff and go out again. I need to go to the chemist as well and reorder my prescription, so I'll do that in the second trip out. Once I've dropped that big lump off at the post office. I'm at the charity shop. I've just dropped off my second bag and I'm having a quick look at things while I'm here. The ladies just said everything is half price today. So to give you an idea of prices, look, that was £2 and so now it would be £1 for that top. I'm back home. Look, this is something I bought for Izzy for Christmas and she was very pleased with it. She made a tiniest start yesterday. It doesn't say what the words are. She's learning Korean, by the way. She uh, really wants to go and visit South Korea one day. So she's been Google translating the words to find out what they mean. And we were both actually sitting here on the sofa with the telly on quietly, both doing our own word searches because I've got them in Portuguese. And kind of chit-chatting mildly about things. It was very pleasant. I am not going to pop straight out right now because I'm a little bit hungry. I only had half of my breakfast before I went out. I thought I better have something or I'll get low blood sugary and not take in what the travel agent was telling me. So I'm going to have the rest of it now and then go to the post office. Oh, and having the rest of that out. I made to start. I'm having chopped banana, bio yogurt, kefir and a tiny bit of golden syrup today I think. I'm having a right mismatch. When I went to Asda I forgot to show you I bought this. I, um, I did a quick recap of what I got from the reduced to clear section because at the time it was so crowded but I realised when I was editing I didn't mention this one but that was uh, 81 pence. It's a dairy free yogurt. I mean I'm quite happy to have either personally. Oops. So let's dollop a bit on there. Bit of mango flavoured kefir. This is like a breakfast cocktail, this is. <laughs> Last of all, well, it's like the Trojan horse. It's like I'll eat the healthy stuff if there's a bit of sweet on it. So I think overall, <laughs> it's like a collision. It's better for me to have it. Because if I didn't have it, I wouldn't want to eat it as much. And then I wouldn't eat the healthy things every day. Breakfast was yummy. I just had a sudden thought. It's a bank holiday. Because when I went down to town earlier, yes, the travel agent was open, but a lot of shops were not. So I checked online and the post office shut till tomorrow. So I thought, I'll just do the pharmacy tomorrow as well. I'll do it all in one trip tomorrow. One more day won't hurt. I've got a new guy moving in next door. There's such a high turnover of families living next door. So we've got a new family moving in. And I heard a grunt and a groan. I looked out the bedroom window and this guy was struggling with this thing, a great big heavy thing all on his own. So I thought, oh, I'll give him a hand. And I went out and offered he said oh it's all weights and it's fine and it's like all like weightlifting stuff so I was like oh my favourite and he's laughing and he said no it's fine honestly I, I put, it's no problem but thanks for offering so anyway I'm going to go and switch the camera off for a bit go and sit at my desk do up my to-do list for the day and get cracking on that stuff I don't actually have that long because I've got a gig today and I'm leaving the house at four so I have less than four hours it's getting on for two o'clock now I want to say before I move on thank you very much to Anne for the donation to the channel so appreciated I've done my books I've been doing my accounts at my desk which got a little bit out of control towards the end of December because I didn't do it every single Monday like I normally do so I had a little bit of wrestling to do with that after that I had a bit of lunch I did some editing and now I'm going to go down into the cellar I'm not going to take the camera down I'm just going to get on with it I need to do a good warm-up for about an hour or so on my flute ready for tonight's gig flute practice done time for bath and air wash before the gig this is what we are wearing to the gig this evening with shoes obviously because in stockinged feet at the moment need to sort my nails out I'm not going to repaint them now do you know I only ever paint them at night before bed because I make such a hash of them it goes everywhere all over the sides of my fingers and everything so that's why but by the morning usually miraculously it has receded to just the nails only but sometimes I've done such a bad job it doesn't I have just assembled myself the most rubbishy assortment of snacks possible because I forgot to get bread when I was out earlier when I was all excited about the holiday. Um, I don't think we're getting fed tonight. It's actually a really short gig tonight. It's two hours and a quarter, something like that, which is quite short for a Kaylee. And we should be done by about half past eight. It's still light, about to leave in 15 minutes from now. So that's nice, makes a change. On our way to the Chepstow area tonight. We've been doing the usual windy road thing. Go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just saying to Mick. Oh, I didn't quite get the camera out in time to film those majestic gates. Well, I didn't call them majestic. Look at that. It's like a castle y entrance. Very fancy. Thank you, Mick. And look at this one as well. It's, ooh, fancy. You do get to come some ooh, weird and wonderful places when you're a musician. It's one of the perks. 
looks like the entrance. It says castle entrance and there's an arrow pointing to it on the sign. <laughs> oh, it's the old servant's entrance. Oh, that's us. <laughs> that Serving the uh, the wedding guests with our Is music. We're in and before anybody comes in here, I'm going to quickly get a shot of this magnificent room. And look where we're playing, right in front of this enormous enormous Christmas tree as in that enormous that's it I've come back to the back of the room so you can see the scale of it we've got some lovely plushy sofas here by a real open fire look at those old-fashioned radiators there and the windows look like something out of Harry Potter that's quite a fire guard isn't it oh, I can feel the heat off that it's lovely it's quite chilly out and through here we've got a beautiful room. When we came in, Sel was playing the piano. I have known him for decades and I didn't even know he could play the piano. And he was just sat in here all on his own, playing away beautifully. Lovely little Christmas tree in here too. I'm gonna to put the camera away and I'm gonna go and help set up the PA quick before they've done it all. Tea and coffee stuff has appeared. Look, we have our hopes up for that. I'm noshing on a Satsuma and admiring this rather elegant radiator. It's not on, by the way. Um, beautiful, isn't it? Here's Guy. Making an entrance. We've added a few presents under the tree. Look, guitar case, speaker bags, what every child wants on Christmas morning. We've got the haunted coffee pot. Look, it's rocking all by itself. That is a most extraordinary phenomenon. This is actually a real tree and it's kept its pine needles extremely well. I was remarking and the staff were agreeing. Right, we have a set for me. Can we bring your set over here in front of the entrance door so I can keep my eye on you? I think we've got some more coming. There we go. There's one. Join those people by the settee. Right, this set here, and you all cross back again. Go. One, two, three, four, turn. You have to move, ladies. Don't just stand there. Well, we're all packed up and ready to go. And do you know what? Out of a vent there, you can probably hear the hiss of it. It's like coming out of the kitchen and it smells of delicious food. <laughs> we're not having it, we're going home. Luckily for me though, I've still got some cheddars left in my bag, so I'm gonna scoff them in the car now. We're all packed up, I think we are. Ooh. Food time. I'm the height of sophistication, as you can see with my cheddars. I hope we get going soon, because it's blooming cold and I can do with the heater being on. Mm -hmm. We're heading home nice and early. I am back and uh, the girls have been having fun. Oh, I did, did I even tell you Isabel's had a friend over? Well, she's just gone just before I came back and they have been baking, <laughs> enjoying life. Apparently they are very tasty. I haven't had one, but I just stuffed my face in the car. So I'll have to have one tomorrow. I got in at 9.30. I've been chatting to my daughter for 10 minutes. She's very nice. She's had a very nice evening. You know, I was, um, doing the icing sugar on the buns the other day, the cinnamon swirl things. I was doing them all wrong. People have kindly told me in the comments tonight, you're supposed to make like icing out of it and drizzle it over the buns, not just sift it over. It worked very nice at just, you know, sift on. But anyway, <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cup of tea, chat to my daughter for a bit. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? Subscribe down below if you'd like to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.